Hello, I'm Victoria Weather Meteorologist Ryan Henning, and I am here with an uh, important weather update, I will say. Uh, first, uh, excuse me as I look off to the side, um, a, a word to the format. I've decided to uh, kind of fall into the whole world of uh, internet videos, and instead of recording with my webcam, I have a selfie cam on my cell phone that I'm trying this out on. Hopefully I'll be able to sh give you a better picture of what's going on on my screens and now I can move around a little bit. Uh, I can show you the dog as she's chewing on a rawhide. Uh, it's, it's great. It's going to work out fantastically. Um, I did one test video already. I got confused because on the screen it looks like everything's backwards and then I played it back and everything was fine and <laughs> I had to throw out the video. Um, but I did want to talk about a serious weather situation that's going to be occurring uh, overnight tonight into tomorrow. Um, there is a significant severe weather threat for the Midwest and Great Lakes, uh, including Omaha, Chicago, uh, onto northern Indiana and Ohio. Uh, first, a look at what's going on right now. Um, I have the weather, the, of course the weather, uh, the radar up for... Um, Eastern Montana, Nebraska. It's actually the Glasgow, Montana. There's a couple of huge supercells. There's been um, large hail. Those are large hail reports. Uh, the purple uh, is a confirmed tornado. So there, this is great chase territory. Um, if you can see that, uh, this is great chase territory. So there is no doubt that if there are, is a warning out there uh, and it is confirmed, it's by likely a very good chaser. Uh, the red, uh, these are just um, radar indicated there very well could be a tornado with those this storm formed sooner as it moved north of Sydney um, by Wolf Point Montana uh, so there's probably more chasers on it uh, than, than this cell out to the east so that's probably why it's not confirmed there's also uh, been a tornadic tornadic cell um, the only reason it looks like it's diminishing is because it's moving away this is the Glasgow Montana radar it's moving away from that that uh, that radar, so it just looks like it's deteriorating. Uh, it's almost sunset. It's 9:39 Central Time, so um, about 8:40 Mountain Time, uh, and these storms are still going strong. And what I'm worried about uh, is that these storms are going to kind of form into what's called the derecho, which long time weather followers know is a straight line wind event that uh, develops where the storm develops into a strong line often viewed as a bow echo but instead of just like your small scale bow echo that can maybe knock a few trees down and uh, you're a part of town this is these lines of thunderstorms can extend for hundreds of miles and tend to last for entire nights into the next morning and that's kind of the threat I worry about um Bow echoes and derecho set, not bow echoes, derecho set up on the north end of warm fronts or stationary fronts. Um, and we happen to have one of those lying from uh, the Dakotas here uh, to Minnesota, Iowa, and then curving into Illinois, Indiana. Uh, so let's first take a look at our high res rapid refresh, the HRRR model. This isn't probably the greatest model. Um, it's one that I like to go to just because it looks pretty with their uh, composite radar overlay. The Wharf would probably handle this a little bit better tonight, but the Hur kind of has the idea that I'm going for. Uh, if you can see, um, as we look into the Midwest, this is the activity that's going on tonight. There are a few lines that are uh, prognosticated, progged as we call it in the weather world. To develop and start to move southwest. This is kind of along that warm front that I'm worried about. And you can see as the thunderstorms develop, you've got this batch and you kind of have this batch. This is more of an occluded front. This is where your warm front is. This is a cold front. Um, if this forms, I don't think it, that's what, well, I mean, that is tomorrow afternoon, but it develops too early in the day, if you ask me. And I think that's going to, uh, sig would significantly hamper the severe threat in northern Illinois. I don't think that's what's going to end up occurring. I do think these these storms that develop into this line, this is going to be the primary emphasis for the severe weather. Forming into that derecho that's going to be ongoing overnight. 
And seeing where that warm front is and where the severe weather threat is, I think the SPC, I'll show you where they have their moderate here, uh, their moderate risk. That's in the red. Uh, so it's from northern Illinois to northwest Ohio. I think that might be a little too far north. Uh, Chicago, Kalamazoo, obviously be be wary. Um, they are very intelligent people at the Trump Prediction Center. But just looking at that, I think part of that just might be warning based on the population. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you definitely want to make sure more people are aware of the situation. So this is going to keep Chicago on alert. But truly, I think the bigger threat for very strong thunderstorms tomorrow is going to be Peoria, Kankakee, Champaign, Bloomington, eventually to Lafayette, Indiana, Fort Wayne, and then maybe on to Lima and Finley, Ohio. And I'll show you a bigger map uh, so you can see exactly where those towns are if you're not familiar with the region. But um, the big threat, we're going to very well understand what the threat's going to be by sunrise tomorrow if this does, uh, those storms in western North Dakota do congeal into a uh, into a derecho because it's going to initiate tonight, it's going to continue overnight tonight, move like a train freight train through South Dakota, southwestern Minnesota, eastern Nebraska, Iowa, and then uh, re reinvigorate itself as it moves through um, Indiana and or excuse me, Illinois and Indiana. And I don't think I've got anything over here. So let's move to the big map so I can show you exactly the parts of town or parts of the country that I'm especially worried about. We're on the move. <laughs> um, so here is my handy map we're looking at. This is the Northern High Plains where the thunderstorms are right now. So there's Glasgow where the radar is and um, Sydney right there where the uh, confirmed tornado is. So this part of the world, Watford City, has been very near the thunderstorms. Uh, that's where the thunderstorms are going on right now. So I think they're going to congeal into their line probably within the next couple of hours. They look, still look pretty discreet in their supercellular form. Uh, but they'll start to move through eastern South Dakota, southwestern Minnesota, kind of the Sioux City, Sioux Falls area might be uh, under the gun tonight. And then really get going as they move into northern Illinois. So Peoria, Kankakee, I mentioned Bloomington, Normal, Champaign. Those parts of the country, uh, parts of Illinois in particular, are going to be under the threat early tomorrow. Uh, and then this line is going to move right on through uh, northern Indiana, Lafayette, Fort Wayne, Marion, Indiana, and then Lima and Finley, Ohio. I really uh, would be concerned about you by nightfall. Uh, so that's that's the the gist of it. I hope you enjoyed this format for <laughs> standing on a couch. Um, I hope you enjoyed that format for a video. Um, I, it is a serious situation so uh, heed your local weather professionals and any watches or warnings that local meteorologists issue. Um, and for Victoria Weather I am meteorologist Ryan Henning and I hope you appreciated and enjoyed the video.